while we're waiting for our uh, transformation to finish, let's switch to the LDA part of our uh, presentation and see what has what exciting stuff is awaiting us here. So by default, we import the module. So I have to remind I have to remind you again that if you're in Python three, you don't want this line. So just comment it down and execute. And I think that it's not this key is going to give you an error. Okay. So book path again, the same thing, and like we have done before, it is just txt because we keep everything in the root folders. And uh, here we are. These two lines correspond to the stop words that are in the English language. And uh, let me actually show you what are those, and you could see them for yourself. But in tk words, this array is just the list of common words in the English language, and many sub words is a longer list of similarly similar words. So there are a lot of things uh, that are in here. And it's basically to get rid of the words that we do not we do not want to appear in our data analysis. Okay. Um, our main uh, so here we go over data wrangling a bit faster. So we want to process every book as a separate file. So instead of making everything as a single file, we want to have it in different uh, places. So we're going to process a book. That is uh, going to be a single entry of the list. So last time we had everything just bunched up in a single list, but now we want to have the book separate. So we initialize an empty book by calling a raw string. So we're going to put, we're going to dump all the content of a book into this string. And after opening it, we're going to tokenize it like we have done before. And so oh, we don't need these lines anymore. So the raw sentences are just the sentences in the book that have been tokenized by our tokenizer object. And then once we split our book into sentences, we're gonna uh, make the word list out of a sentence. So by having a sentence, we want to make something out of a sentence. So here, uh, you see a very peculiar structure uh, of Python, a very peculiar feature of Python, I should say, a function within a function. Um, this is a relatively rare occasion in programming languages in general that you're allowed to create functions within functions, but Python Ho fortunately has this feature and it's pretty useful at times. Here, for example, I don't want to declare this function outside because I know that this function is not going to be used outside at all. So we could just declare functions within functions, but note that this function is available only within the mother function. So you cannot see this function outside the function. Okay, so by processing a sentence, we want to get rid of all the unimportant symbols like I had done before by using the regular expressions. You split it into the words and make everything lowercase. And uh, so let's just copy the lowercase array just just to be safe. So filter word list is just the word list within a sentence. So for every word within that lowercase, um, we want to see, we want to remove a word from that from our word list if a word appears in our many stop word list so we don't we don't want to include any sort of commonly uh, common english words within our data within our uh, inside our data so if word is in is inside this array if it exists so if a word appears in the many stop words array list if a word appears in many stop words list we remove it from our uh, sentence so, and return the sentence back so, and then we do the same thing for every single sentence within the book. So by the, executing that, we should not get any trouble. And let us, um, so this is a trial on how a function works on a single book. So book file path zero corresponds to the first book in our list of books. So book file path is, or it's just a list of books, a uh, list of paths leading to the books in the system. And um, so flat is to just make everything flat. We don't want matrices. So here, because words um, is just a uh, so sentences we have sentence of a word so this is a matrix basically the whole thing gives me a matrix back uh, we don't want a matrix we want a single or one-dimensional array and this flatless uh, a very short expression just makes our list into a one-dimensional list just basically uh, making one very long list of words for our particular book so creating a empty book list is going to well, let's just create a new list that is going to store all our books. So for 
a file in the book file path, we're going to append this book into our books list by doing this. So make everything into a sublist and which and uh, take that. So create a matrix from this raw book to process file and make everything a flat list, just like here. So if you do not follow what this line has done, it's just we're basically doing is for every single book in the book file path, we're going to read it into the memory by using this function and we're going to stretch it into a single list so that a book contains just a bag of words. Uh, we'll see that in a second how, how our result, what is our result after performing this operation. Uh, it also takes a while because there are some expensive operations within the function because we are looking at every sentence and we want to see if the sentence is within the within the main stuff words or not and we're cleaving everything uh, by using regular expressions and we are basically going over the whole book list and which is a very fairly long array um, so like you have seen here every single book um, and so in total we have uh, somewhere somewhere around 10 megabytes of text which is a lot and once we're done actually processing it uh, we could see how our well um, I just made a mistake I tried to execute this again so we have to wait for a while and it is should not be a big problem so once we're done um, appending the books into our books list let's just see how long our books list is and if you want to see how a book looks like just uh, go and say book zero and we're gonna see what is a uh, first book contains so if you might notice the list is very short now you could actually scroll through it fairly fast uh, which indicates that there are no uh, commonly uh, common English words within it anymore so these are all the most of these words pertain to Game of Thrones series well, what? okay oh okay we're done with this we are done okay now we have to put our books list into a suitable format for the LD model. In order to do that, we're going to import the corpora. A corpora is a special format to save, to uh, to have the books in the memory. So books is just a list and it isn't really good for data analysis because books is for humans and those words are for humans, but computer just wants numbers. So it basically converts all the books to numbers and you could see how it looks like. So dictionary is just we're making a dictionary of books, so dictionary dot um, dictionary dot well um, oh yeah dictionary dot print is just the dictionary of tokens. So every single word in this dictionary, so which was uh, these words come from the books list, have a special ID, a unique ID. So a phone has a special word, a special number assigned to itself. So we're basically converting every single Word to a number to ID. It's not a number that is similar to vector numbers, so we do not we're gonna we do not perform any sort of mathematical operations on these IDs. These are just labels. So computer is gonna see everything as a label, not a word. Well, so here's um, Doctor Bow is basically how frequently does the uh, ID appear. So ID number zero Paul, appears four times. ID number one appears three times, and ID number um, ninety five appears twelve times. So our computer sees only IDs and frequencies, so you know that the word number 1020 appeared just a single time, but we do not know what are the, what this, what IDs correspond to, so we need to have a matching between IDs and words, and the next step is basically that. Um, so, for, um, so we're initializing our corpus by giving this dictionary, so dictionary is just the ID list to our corpus file, so for the whole text in the box, we're feeding that text to the corpus file. And then, um, once we are done doing that, we are going to move on to uh, actually building the model. So in order to do that, we're going to execute this LDA LDA model and actually provide all the list of books. So because books is still a list, this LDA model does not accept list. It wants a corpus file, and corpus file is a special type of file that is being created from the dictionary. So I take the dictionary, fit all the fit all the text to the dictionary, and then put this corpus into the LDA model. This is uh, what it's going to happen here and id to word dictionary, dictionary equals dictionary means that we want to save our matching we want to remember uh, what 
uh, does a number correspond to, so number zero corresponds to fawn and something like that. We want to know what uh, numbers, what uh, ID, so what does the particular ID correspond to, so ID number zero corresponds to fawn, and by giving it a dictionary, we can restore that data later on. So uh, this uh, process also takes some time, and in order to uh, perform this uh, data, well, it, once we actually perform this training, our computer is uh, executing this LDA uh, algorithm, the one that has been presented to you before, and you can find it in the video for the previous section. Uh, Zakari is going to explain, uh, he already explained how that model works. Uh, once we have built our model, we should see how does it look like, and we could see all various, all sort of varied things that uh, all sort of things that our model produced. So let's see what is our topic number 88. When, let's see what is our my model that different topic number 12 is. So our topic number 12 is not a single word. So the common misconception is that a topic is a single word, but it's not. A topic is a collection of words that make up a new a topic. So topic number 12 is just a, so it's point, uh, something something of lord point 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 oh oh nine of sir and point oh six of man and so on and for example point number 99 is this so all of them are different and topics are not single word topics are sets of words uh, combined together to produce a topic so whenever i say topic is not a single word as an english language topic is a set of words that represent a one particular abstract abstract topic for the um and we could actually you know, print uh, top uh, 10 uh, topics and see how do they look like in here. So if you execute this, you should see the same thing. And uh, here, this model uh, only provides us uh, with topics that we have identified from the books of Game of Thrones. But if you want to extend our model, you should download more books and see how do they, uh, okay, my model. How do they perform under the same analysis? So let's say you go and download some other book series or you uh, download a Wikipedia and see how does that perform under the LDA model. Because certainly the Game of Thrones model does not do well here because obviously the data the data set is too small because we only capture Lord Sir. We don't really capture a lot of Johns and a lot of Iron Thrones here, which is what a normal human would expect to see. And a uh, topic model is especially useful when you have a lot of data, and by a lot of data, I mean tremendous amount of data, like Wikipedia uh, articles or uh, all the literature that has been written between like year to 2000 and 2010. So for topic modeling to be useful, you have to have a very big data set, and our data set here is actually pretty small. So books only, well, I should say len books. Oh yeah, it has five, but so let's see uh, some for a for book in books. Um, some then for for book and books. So we only have uh, s we only have seven hundred thousand words, which is not much for this sort of data analysis because English language has a around. So I assume that the Game of Thrones has around them. 10,000 10, or 20,000 of vocabulary to different words and this is not a lot so you have to have uh, more than a thousand occurrences of single words to, in order to have uh, this sort of modeling useful uh, for a line of book and books yes so it is right so we only have this but whereas in the previous model we had a very long a very long data set so we had a million and eight hundred thousand for our previous word to vector analysis, uh, word to vector model building. We had a data set consisting of almost two million words, but here is like three times less, which is bad, especially for topic modeling because we're interested in uh, words that occur frequently in certain, but whereas here we 